Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is part two of my two-part unboxing from 24s.com and as you can see the box is already open and that's because I did a video yesterday where I showed you what was the first item inside this box. To keep you in suspense, I had to spread it out over two days. So let's go ahead and get into this. But first, let me tell you that this black dress I'm wearing, I got at a local boutique and I thought I'd pop it on because I hadn't showed it to you yet. Whenever my kids had a fundraiser recently for their sports, there were several boutique baskets that got auctioned off and they weren't going for as much as they should have. So I, along with my husband's approval, bid them up a bit and got some of the boutique gift card gift baskets. And so I got this and believe it or not, it was like $20. And I think it is so freaking cute. It's wrinkly, but I don't think it'll show the wrinkles too bad. You can see it has like a sheen to it. I don't think it'll show the wrinkles too bad with the ring light, so I didn't steam it. Sorry, guys. I just didn't feel like it. I'm having one of those mornings. But anyway, let me go ahead and pop this open. 24S has really nice packaging. As you saw from the pillow tabby yesterday, they didn't wrap the actual bag, but they did have the straps still wrapped. So what color did I get this time? Oops, I did it again. Let's see. Guys, oh my goodness. Okay, so I at one point had the green pillow tabby that everybody loves so much. And when I had that bag briefly, I thought it was too bright for me and I sent it back. And then they came out with Amazon green. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but when the Amazon green one was on sale, oh my gosh, I'm having like some significant issues here with the there. Whew, that was a lot. When the Amazon green one was on sale, I bought three of them. And I think I got them, hold on, I've got hair on my face. I think I got them from Belk. And all three had significant issues on the flap. Look how perfect that is, guys. Oh my goodness. I freaking love it. I'm going to take out just a little bit of the stuffing and snap this beauty up. Sometimes I find that the stuffing will make it so where if you snap it, you get a little bit of irregularity right here, or if it's overstuffed. And so in this case, it was not snapped. And so that's why I went ahead and just pulled out a little bit of the stuffing. You don't want to have it like dimpling here in the front when it's in storage, because then that'll kind of become a permanent thing. And it's probably going to become a permanent thing anyway. My ivory one up on the shelf has a little bit of that, like where it kind of bumps in and then has a dent like see right there. I just try to keep it as little as possible. And I don't think that front pocket needs to be stuffed unless you are wearing it. And then that's okay because you're using your bag and that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Let me go ahead and get her unwrapped or at least I'll start. Then we'll take her for a spin. Since I got a dress on, I'll try her on for you. I did not try the berry one on for you yesterday. Well, I sort of did. I tried it on, on my shoulder. So look at this guys. Oh my gosh. She is freaking stunning. She has a little dent right there too. I wonder if that's just kind of from the straps and the hang tag. These little pleats sometimes can get a little wonky, but with a pillow tabby, you can massage and get things kind of perfected as long as it's not the front flap. But I have had people tell me that they were able to smooth out their front flap too. I just prefer to get mine looking like that. And I can't believe I got two, two good ones. That's just freaking insane. Okay, let's unwrap the straps. They put a lot of strap wrapping on these. This strap looks awesome. Let me just check the little clippy thingies. They're good. I love this color so much. This is like the perfect green for me. It's not too bright. It's just the right kind. Okay, if you remember, yesterday I showed you that the new straps are flat. They're not puffy anymore. I imagine that the ivory and the black ones, if you get a hold of one of those, that they likely will still have the old strap because they originally came with this puffier strap. I don't know if you can see, but it really kind of has some elevation there. While this is just flat, see? I don't mind that they changed them. I, like I said in yesterday's video, I kind of think they probably did it because there were some 
issues with wrinkling on the straps and they didn't want to have to deal with returns. That would be my guess. They also made the strap just a little bit wider and it does seem like it's very pliable and bendy, which is good. It's always good to be bendy. Makes it comfy. Okay guys, what do you think of my dress? It's a little bit shorty short, but not too short that it's inappropriate. I couldn't believe how good it fit. I mean, it's got puff sleeves. It's the silky kind of material, but it doesn't like scream silky, so it doesn't show every lump and bump. I love this. It's so stinking cute. You gotta do a little bit of shaping on the strap, but not much. Oh, it's so pretty. So I would say the deep pine pillow tabby is just as much of a success as her sissy. The berry, I mean, look at those colors, guys. Are those not fantabulous? Ah, I freaking love them. And I made room on my shelf. I sold both of my Marc Jacobs, the tote bags that I had for sale that were the fabric ones. The denim one's gone. And I also sold the splatter paint one. I shipped it yesterday. And so now I have room to move my Pele to the spot that they had, my long shot Pele. And then I'm gonna have to turn my pillow tabby sideways to fit these in, but I've got a spot for all four of them. And I think I owe you guys a collection video pretty soon. In fact, there's a small chance if she has time that Julie with Agent Bag Reviews may go in on that with me. She came up with this cute name. It was something like bags we would secretly sleep with. You know, it was coach bags we would secretly sleep with if we could. And we were gonna just feature all of our pillow bags. And I think she's got, oh, let's see. I think she has three or four and I think I have now six. I almost had seven, but coach canceled one of my orders and then I had second thoughts about it. So I'm not sure why they canceled it, but I sort of felt like it was serendipity that God was telling me something like, don't buy this bag. So we'll see. I'm still thinking about it. I may end up having one more bag I would secretly sleep with if I could. I do have a couple more items to unbox one of them I will go ahead and show you now. And then this box has stuff in it. I did peek because I needed to organize for this video. This is from Nana Store 2018. I haven't taken the items out of their wrapping, but I kind of was able to peek and see what they were because it had been so long since I ordered it since it comes from China. Anyway, there's some super stinking cute stuff in this box and I can't wait to try it on with some of my Louis Vuitton bags, particularly. I think pretty much all of this is Louis Vuitton related. A couple of the things may work on some of my coach bags too. So definitely stay tuned for my Nanostore 2018 video. That brand, it's an Etsy brand, has so many good things and the quality seems to be really good. So that will come up after this video. So I'm thinking Saturday for that one. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing another unboxing, but it's not an unboxing, it's an unbagging. So you know here, we do a little bit of handbags. No, we do a lot of handbags. And then we also do some fashion. And I have been showing you my rampage on the online market for Hey Dude Shoes recently. And I saw these, they've been sitting here unopened for quite a while because I've been waiting for the right moment to open them up. And I think this is my moment. Look, they even go with my dress. Do you think I could get away with this? No, just kidding. Okay, so these are a true black. They're corduroy. And I can link these in the description box too. But I do like how these have a gray sole. Sorry for my nails. They definitely need to be done, but I haven't had time to do them recently. But look, these have a gray sole instead of having a white sole like most of the Hey Dudes do. And they have like a very minor fleck in them. And then they've got the charcoal gray fur. I have a pair in this style and I showed them to you before, but they weren't this color. The color was a gray color instead of being a black color. So I plan on using these with my joggers in the winter and also with denim. And I will tell you that the fur in these, it is super soft and it goes all the way up to the toes and around the sides. The only part that doesn't have fur is this insole. And these, you can buy replacements for them. They're really squishy 
but the part that you get the most squish from on these is the sole. It's very squishy memory foam. The back part of this is in like a pleather, I think. And I like that because, you know, when you're walking, your heels tend to get stepped on sometimes. So that sort of will keep them a little cleaner. But I love these. I might just have to put one on and see how it feels. Oh my gosh, it's like heaven on my foot. My foot is like screaming pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Have you seen that video? I think it was with Jim Carrey and Jennifer Aniston and he became God. Great movie if you haven't seen it. But anyway, there's this one scene and I can never forget it where he's like wiggling his fingers and giving her pleasure. And he's going pleasure, 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 pleasure. And she like is dropping to the floor, you know, not screaming, but like making all the sounds like oh my gosh it's amazing but she didn't say it was amazing I don't know what she said she was just ooing and eyeing about how wonderful whatever he was doing to her with his wiggly fingers made her feel these shoes they make me feel that way almost maybe not quite but they feel really really good so go get yourself some hey dudes if you haven't I think this is like my 15th pair or something like that and I'm not slowing down no I am slowing down I am slowing down I have enough for now but when they wear out, which they don't wear out very fast, I will be replacing various ones as they wear out because they are that good. Luckily, I already made a slot in my shoe armoire, which is right in front of me for those to go. So they are put away. Now I just need to pick up all the wrapping debris around me and I will be ready for my day. I get to go to the dentist. Yay! <sighs> I'm dreading it. They're going to tell me to stop drinking Diet Dr. Pepper again and I just don't know if I can handle that. So I better run. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the handbag housewife. And if you just go to the search bar and put in the at symbol and then the handbag housewife, I'll pop right up. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.